by the time we finish, Nigeria will no longer exist. That name will wave goodbye to it. The same way Yugoslavia is gone, that Soviet Union is gone, that same way will the word Nigeria be obliterated from history books. The people are stupid and foolish. Nigeria is a reminder that colonial mentality actually seeped into our bone marrows. As somebody reminded us this morning, when somebody from Nigeria pays and says, Oh, God bless Nigeria, you are making a mockery of God. God can only bless something that is created. I learned that this morning. God did not create the zoo. Therefore, there is no way God can bless it. It's impossible. Impossible. That hopeless entity that people today say they are very proud to belong to was created by a white man. His name is Frederick Lugard. This man is not from Biafra land. This man is not Hausa Fulani. This man is not Yoruba. But there are some people from black Africa who are willing to go to war to defend what a white man created out of their own subjugation. Who did not create it? A white man did. You asked the white man to go, the white man left and went back. But you retained every vestige of subjugation left. You can read and write, claiming they are PhD holders that lack rudimentary or what I would call common sense. They don't understand how to structure a society. Our forefathers, we are better political thinkers and philosophers more than the fools that gave us the zoo called Nigeria. They couldn't have come up with a but in case you can go quiet. Never in their lives. Instead, what they did was to surround themselves with the military and the police. Instead, what they did is to ensure the subjugation of their own people by bringing money abroad and banking it abroad. And people are wallowing in abject poverty. There are many things wrong with the way that a black person reasons that sometimes I wonder. I wonder if some of them are human beings at all or not. I wonder seriously. I don't think so, in my opinion. There is no need, there is no reason where they got independence from a country where the police do not carry guns on the street. Upon becoming independent, this band of vandals and animals created a police force. A police should be a civil service, not a force. A civilian. They created a police force. They created mobile police, the riot police. They created the army. They created the navy. They created everything you can think about, the air force. They created all this rubbish in order to perpetuate themselves in power, in order to continue lying to you, in order for them to master everything that is to do with violence, to kill you and to subjugate you. The white man came, turned us into slaves, subjugated us, took away all our natural resources, and when they were going, they gave power over to a set of black people again, continuing even worse subjugation of their own people. And you're telling me these people are human beings? Is that what you're telling me? That somehow black people in Africa are normal people? Yes, is that what you, you want me to believe that? If they are normal, they have to prove it. The only way for you to prove that you're not a monkey is by going and getting Biafra. If Biafra doesn't come, you are an animal. Biafra is the only justification you have to exist as a human being. Anybody saying that they are, he or she is a Nigerian. That person is worse than a fool. They asked me this morning here, why do you call them animals? I said because they accepted a name given to them by somebody else. Only a dog and a cat can do that. A white man came from Scotland, said your name is Nigeria, you accepted it. Without asking questions, which goes to show that your brain is not working properly. Had your brains been working properly, you would say no, that this is my name. After all, you answer, I am a fool. My name should not be lost. By answering Nigeria, you have abandoned your name, you have abandoned your traditions and your heritage. That is what Biafra is here to reverse. Everybody can gang up against us if they wish. But we want to make this victory in such a way 
that everybody who is a Biafran will worship God forever and ever. Because the delivery of Biafra from bondage, the extrication of the children of the Most High God, Shukwa Biyama, from that very abominable entity, will indicate to you once and for all that indeed, Shukwa Biyama is a Biafran. The world is about to see something they've not seen before. That Biafra must emerge. We must come to exist. We are not going to ask for anything that doesn't belong to us. We are not asking for any territory or resources. All we are asking them to do is to leave us alone. The same way we were before the British came. We have the documentation to prove that we never gave the British the consent to form one nation place. We have the documents. The documents we signed with them was to with Royal Niger Company. We never gave them the consent to go and form Nigeria. This is one thing that the so-called band of Nigerian intellectuals never ever bothered to ask themselves, including the Yorubas, Wilshika in particular. Did we give our consent to look at to go and form Nigeria? The answer is no, we did not. Where did they derive the authority to go to form that zoo? Why did they hand over to the group of black men that continued the same slavish mentality impacted upon them by their masters? No wonder they are incapable of civilization. They are incapable of human development. The one look man I understand is here. Is that not correct? The son is here. Dancing from one night's club to another, making positives very, very rich on your money. And some of us go to that night's club to go and clean that night's club to be able to feed and pay house rent. That money is coming from your land. The one who look man is here in Austria with money stolen from Biafra. Him and the children are living at large, having fun. In the morning, we will go to the next club where the son went to party to go and clean that next club that we can get money to feed. Do you now see why I said that there's something wrong with us? Only an animal can allow that to happen. Not a sensible human being. Why do you think everybody revolted in the world? That is a sign of civilization. When you revolt against any oppressive regime or system, that is a sign that you are now matured as a human being. Or else you're an animal. You are an animal. When we preach the gospel on Radio Biafra, we tell you the truth. If you have any counter opinion, you present it. People shouldn't look at us and say, oh, you are insulting us. No, I am telling you the fact. The fact that you're a Nigerian means you're an animal. Only an animal can accept the name given. Is that true or false? Then every Nigerian is an animal. We preach the truth here. They don't know what is coming at them. As I will keep reminding them, before we came, nobody could tell you the truth this way. Now that we are here, they can't tell you. We are not here to pamper you and put cream on you. If you have a problem, we cut it out completely. Surgery. Cut out the problem. We don't raise the wound. We cut out the rubbish and throw it away and heal you properly. And you survive. Then nothing, an injury or wound that never improves. We are here. Do you know how shameful it is for a grown up man from Biafra land to abandon the father's compound? I am the first son of my father. My father never abandoned his father's compound, but I did, in order to survive. If something happens to me abroad and I don't go home, what happens to my family lineage? My own branch is closed. Do you know why our land is the way it is? When the white man came, our forefathers never gave them the first son because the first son is the custodian of our way of life they always gave them second to the last 
Don't worry, Hezi. I'm saying my second to the last. I'm almost finished. We gave them all people that came, servants that came. You will be amazed. Every, I don't want to make some people feel bad. Everybody in those days that acquired very high education is not Madiala. Number one. Number two, they are not the first son. Go and check it out. They went abroad and copied rubbish and brought home. That is why you are here today. If Nigeria is working, we will be here today. The fact that we are outside in such large numbers, including those I'm seeing today, means that the Zoom is not working. It has not worked for over 50 years. When is it going to work? When? Somebody should tell me. When will it work? They say a fool at 40 is a fool forever. I don't know what is a fool at 50, what it is. Maybe a fool at 50 should even exist in the first place. This is Radio Biafra. <laughs> there will be nothing like us again nothing like us i'm telling you that nothing like us that is why we speak the truth that is why we remain without fear in the presence of our enemies because we don't have skeletons in our cupboard i would debate anybody anywhere when people try to talk nonsense about what we are doing i say invite me to your house i will debate you when i finish debating with you your wife will leave you your wife will see the stupidity in you and she'll walk away from you we are serious. People always say, oh, they're in London, talking, they're in London. These morons don't understand that we have broadcasted from Lagos, not once, not twice, not three times, not four. We have consecutively broadcast from the heart of darkness, which is Lagos. The little bit speaking for about eight days. We were there, 88.2 FM, live broadcast from Lagos. We have broadcasted from Lagos. Time and time again, people say, oh, that are, are people foolish? Don't they understand that you cannot run a sophisticated, modern, technology-powered station like Radio Biafra from a place where there is no light, from a place where there is no stable connectivity? Don't they understand that? That is why they go to school for two weeks and they shut down for 12 months and they come out and they graduate them. They come out and there is nothing in their skulls, nothing in their brain. Do you know that you have it enshrined in Nigerian law to fight for your self-determination? Are you aware of it? They want me and both and it's in the one that's in Hagra school. So you don't know. Do you know it is part of the zoo law, part of the zoological republic's law, that you can agitate for your own freedom? Are you aware of it? No, you don't know. Everybody has the right to say whatever they want to say. If you don't like it, take them to court. That is the meaning of freedom of speech. There will be no discrimination. We cannot be coming out of a useless country called Nigeria to go into Biafra to start discriminating. We are not that stupid. We are not that useless. The new Biafra we are creating is where your merit counts. Where your merit counts. Counts, not who your father is, your mother, your village, that is irrelevant. Everybody in Biafra is important. Every child will have free education. Every child will be entitled to three square meals a day. Everybody, regardless of where you are, you will be entitled to accommodation. That is the new Biafra we are building. There will be no discrimination of any sort. Never, ever, ever. Anybody found guilty of discrimination will be jailed for life. This is Biafra. And this is the kingdom of God himself on this very earth. We can't afford to mess it up. Thank you very much. Yara, Nigerians, my food.
baboons and monkeys everywhere. I'm an SUGM. Black people are useless. Useless. Very, very, they cannot listen very well. Niger, Nigerians means uh, people who occupy an area that the river is flowing through the Black River. Niger means nigger, black. Niger is English word for nigger. Nigger is Latin. Niger is French. It means black. Hopeless and useless. Oh dear me. Very, very useless, I tell you. Black people, hopeless. Answering the name a white man gave to a river. Look at yourself in the mirror. You will see a papoon or a monkey in a land war here on a leg. You Nigerians and see that you will not tell lies. In fact, go back to Ten Commandments and keep it. That's what I'm asking you to do. Don't follow any new rules. They are planning. Oh, maybe if we remove him, they can. If we assassinate him or do something to him, then uh, this effort will stop. <laughs> you know, people you think can always kill somebody and the problem stops. You make it work. Yeah, no, no. If, uh, my name is Jason Wanko. I'm from uh, Nigeria. Where, where are you? Where, where's your village? I'm from Africa. Please go ahead. Uh, I'm operating. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm listening to you guys. And of course, uh, I, I'm, I, I like to first state I'm 100 percent in favor of the Diana Frank course. But I uh, I think again, uh why is it a century? And why don't we try and come up with a cautious approach? The fact is if we are going to be violent, they're going to the enemies who want to be violent with us. Why don't we have a group that would follow in you know, a process of of uh, of showing the evils that without fighting we can set up a party that will represent us you know holistically rather than you know trying to break away because we might be crushed and that's not what one wants one cautious approach i don't know what you think about that yes your suggestion was good and we've done that before and it didn't work when, when did we, you mean in regards to the yes the, well the, when the, when when we joined mp and that's what we are told that's the way you can do it Join MPN, everything you're looking for will be given to you. Well, join. I'm not saying we should join. I'm saying we, like you, for example, we can we not have a fund that will sponsor the party that we can, you know. But, but I, I, I have not finished. Yeah. I'm coming. That was number one. We've done it before. That MPN was number one. Um, Nam Gaziki, we also had MPP before then. Nothing happened. We then went on to Abga. Chepa Sokoria went and registered Abga. And we got Abga. They came to London and told us that this Abga, it will get all the Southeast. It's, it is not the political wing of Uta Wonis. Nothing happened. We have done it before. What is Abga for? We've done it before. So if you form this group and Mohammed Tucker in Abuja decides to read election and put somebody else in, what will you do? Yeah, that's, uh, yes, that's something very critical, yes. Very simple. They will be like, because something that is bad, is evil is evil. Nigeria can never ever change. Nigeria was founded on fraud. Nigeria, yeah, indeed, indeed. The, the British taught Nigerians how to falsify results. Reading was brought in by the British. How to falsify census results when you're not by the British. You're asking them to change a behavior they've had for over 100 years. You want them to stop lying? You can't stop them. You're 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 in Namibia, right? I'm in Namibia, no, yes. Yes, yeah, no, no, Namibia, yes. Now I am saying this based on what we have witnessed in the in the southwest. Is it not possible for us for us to have an evil version of the shortlist action uh, or APC that is now no no but then action action group? Can we not have an evil Pan Africanist party that will represent the interests of the evils? And that way, if the governors of the five east south eastern states come together and cooperate. We can, we can always have a another hand in breaking the wind. That's what I'm, 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 I think is the logical way to start. My and brother. Way to sponsor a party that can represent the South East States. And we can, like, what's going to happen in the Southwest? Now, listen, we, we are mistaken. We are missing two things. My dear brother, your idea is wonderful. I like that. But in a civilized world, we are not to the people. That is what the people need to understand. Yes, we, we are not. We, I, 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 yes, of course we are not. I we, do not want to be... Yes, I, I can't put you on that. Yes, continue. Exactly. Sorry. And yes. because we are not the same people, the way we think to process information cannot, cannot be the same. Cannot we be same. are not subservient people. People call the Radio Biafra to question me. They call the Radio Biafra to question the digital report. They call, they can see you sit you down and ask you questions. Look at the way we criticize our analysis sometimes. How many Yoruba people criticize Afeni Fele? 
Because we, because we are to listen, but there are some people who don't know. We have existed for 5,000 years before Nigeria came. We were existing before Britain was formed. We existed before we were civilized people practicing democracy before the first woman gave birth to a Greek person. This is something you must know. People must know this. So people are asking us now to abandon our rich heritage abandon everything about us as a people and be in the same country with house of and i asked our brother a very simple question do you want to have taliban living close to your house the answer is no don't worry about what people say they will always say something but the more they say it the more they're going to respect us when the time comes because we are going to get biafra we are the only ones talking about biafra that was why the whole consultation they had so the reason why we pursue Biafra, it is not for political reasons. We pursue Biafra because Biafra is divine. Biafra is beyond the understanding of an average man or woman. Biafra is a spirit. Biafra is the restoration of the kingdom of heaven on this earth. I cannot understand why people who are unwilling to give their names should be sat in front of me. This is Radio Biafra, we don't deal with cowards. I cannot understand why people who are unwilling to give their names should be sitting in front of me. 3.5 million people massacred in cold blood and somebody is afraid of who they are. I don't want to meet with them. We must be without fear before our enemies. Once we entertain fear, we are gone, we are finished. Have one shred of fear, you are gone. Do you think Chukwa Biyama will be will be uh, waste his time giving the effort to men and women who are cowards? People can now say how difficult our job is. We are going to make our land better. Go and ask my parents. They know I don't deceive people. Never. I don't do that. That's not how I was raised. Anybody that knows my family will know that we don't compromise. We do not compromise. Never. My father is the poorest traditional ruler in Agra State because he said he will not compromise. Because of that, the road in front of my house is not bad. They have put tarmac everywhere else apart from the front of my house because my father will not succumb to the nonsense that they do in Agra State. I have the pedigree. I do not intend to change. Instead, it will get my love for Biafra can only get worse. It cannot get. If people do, don't think it will, will. Sometime it will go. No. Every day I stay in it, it gets worse. I love my country. I love my people. The original Biafran people, not the fake born by Hausa people. No. The original Biafran people. Those are the three irreducible principles upon which Biafra is built. Irreducible. The equality of man and woman before God and before the law. My name is Michael. Michael who? London. Michael who? What is your surname? Michael KK. Okay. From London. Please go ahead. This is Radio Biafra. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm. I'm just listening. For, I'm just listening to your 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 your, your news or your your broadcast. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, I just want to find out uh, what what exactly are, are you are you talking about? What is your surname? Okay, okay. Have you heard of Biafra before? Yes. How many years ago did you hear about Biafra? So many years ago, up to 10 years ago. What does Biafra mean to you? When you hear the word Biafra, what does it mean to you? It's 
when you hear Biafra, what does it mean to you? The word Biafra, what does it mean to you? That's why I call it Osana from you because you're the one saying it, so I'll be able to get a better picture of what you're talking about. Anyway, 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 sir, I'm trying to, I just want to teach you one or two things. I think I'm um, the best way. Um, where are you? Are you in London? I know you are in London because why I call you. If you, you want us to listen, if you, really, you want us to listen to you properly, you go to Nigeria and start doing this. You understand know what I mean? You are the people causing trouble, to, causing trouble for Nigeria. What are you talking about? Blah 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 blah. blah. You understand? Know I don't. I don't even understand what you're what you talking about. Go to Nigeria and start doing this thing, so we'll be able to hear you properly. Some deceiving people is not good to deceive people. I I, I'm listening to you when you yeah, finish there. I mean, if you have any question to ask me, you ask me that, I ask you a question. Yeah, the question I'm asking you is, yes. if you witness that I don't think you'll be saying this, what our people go through. So please, don't push people to go and fight war, don't make people to go and fight things that they're not supposed to do. If you don't want to fight about Rafa, go back to Nigeria and fight to Nigeria. So do it in London. You don't come here and hide and fight with you in London. Okay. Fight to Nigeria, so they'll listen to you properly. Thank you. Have you finished? I can ask you some questions. Have you finished? Yeah, I yeah, finished. Huh? When did you start following Radio Biafra? Uh, not quite long. No wonder. Because if you had followed Radio Biafra, you will know that I went to Nigeria and I broadcasted from the zoo, from the heart of darkness, Lagos. We are on 88.2 FM broadcasting live in Lagos. I have been to Biafra land to broadcast I have broadcasted everywhere I have been to, and we are going back home. In case you might follow, we have purchased our transmitter, and we are going home to broadcast from home. I have been there. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I need to finish what I'm saying. I didn't interrupt you. You will not interrupt me. We have broadcasted from home. I have preached Biafra on the streets of Lagos. I have preached Biafra at the airport in Lagos. The reason why we are here is because in that useless contraption there is no light. In that useless contraption called the Zoological Republic of Nigeria, they do not have ordinary broadband strong enough to carry our signal. That is why we are here. We are not here out of choice. The same way that you are in London. You are in London because there is no running water in your village. You are in London because there is no light. You are in London because there is no work where you come from. That's why you are here. And do you know those that fought for London? Do you know that Hitler came to this country and destroyed it completely? Do you know that Churchill did not surrender? Do you know they did not give up despite the damage to the people? Something comparable to what you saw in the war. And do you also know, my dear brother, that the name you answer is Uteke? Do you know the meaning of your name? <laughs> you are funny. What is the meaning of your name? No, 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 issue. no, what is the meaning of your name? <laughs> if you can't answer it, means sorry, baby, what is the meaning of your name? Well, you can't, you can't, no, 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 I want to put a thing for you, sir. Only two things. Where is your village? Which village do you come from? What is your village? Where is, where is your village? Where is your village? Sir, just let me, I'll tell you, I'll tell you my village. I want to say two things. The two things I want to put for you is, one, if at the end of the day, that what you are doing, that you are, you are showing to the audience. No, no, no. If, I'm listening. I'm listening to you, my dear brother. Go ahead. If uh, at, at the end of the day, that what you are doing, that you are showing to live, that you are showing to live on it, that at the end of the day, you will not do like what you do. Maybe they will give you some political appointment. You will talk quiet. I will support you. Now, now you are talking. Like, That's what you should have said. Now, now you are talking properly. Now you are beginning yeah, to speak. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Two. So, I'm not. My, my, my second one again is. Brother is not our problem. Our problem is our leader. Every Nigerian is co corrupt. Every Nigerian wants to loot. No, nobody wants to help in Nigeria. So that is the problem we are facing now. Not taking this, not sharing the country. If you, Nigeria, we need to change. We need to change our way. We need to behave like the Western world. You, you are, thank God you are here. You see what people are doing here. They will, they will go and they will go and for money and take their own country. But every Nigerian wants to loot and come and put your money here. So if you can talk about that, let us change our way, our thinking. It will be okay, sir. Thank you very much. No, don't, don't go away. Maybe you're on contract, so you can call any line for long. Stay where you are. I will answer your questions before you go away. 
Do you see this Biafra that we are pursuing? Biafra cannot come unless we are honest people, so accept what you're saying. I said in Germany, and I repeated the same thing yesterday. Before we came, there were no people like us. After we are gone, there will be none like us. Nobody is more committed. Nobody is more into Biafra. Nobody has sacrificed more. I'll put it that way. In this very cause than those surrounding Radio Biafra. I make it very clear to you that what we do is not that we may become known or popular or get money nonsense. We are doing this because God himself, Chukwa Biyama, has determined that we should come. We cannot be anybody comparing us to any other person that insults to me. I will no longer mention them by name in 2014, but they are not worthy to be called their friends. By their fruits you shall know them. I have not failed my people before. I don't intend to fail them in the future. And any day I contemplate, God, Chukwabiyama is my witness, any day I dream, I contemplate selling my people out. If God does not destroy me and my family, I will know he's not God. He is no longer God. If God does not destroy me, any single day I dream, I did not say I, I will do. I said if I dream, if I think about it, if God doesn't destroy me and my household, I will know he is not God. Anyway, I, what, what will happen is that uh, I will not today. Because if at the end of the day, or let they will, they will not call you and give you one position in Nigeria, you just keep quiet. That is what you should betray us. But if you are strong enough to do this, not, not to push us at the end, you will just go away. If you are strong enough, we are behind you. But make sure what you are saying, what you are doing, or what you are trying to do, that you are a man of faith, man that will carry on. Not be talking, talking, because we, what we find out now, we are, we are not going to keep. What we find out now is that most Nigerians, if you want to make money, just spring up from nowhere. From the now, you say you are booking book around. From, uh, from, 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 the, from, the, from the east, you say you are Gratra. From, from this side, you say you are east, and the government will call you and compensate you, keep quiet. We will not have so long, we don't, we don't even know what, what you are doing, what, 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 what is your own plan. But we pray that your plan should be, and you want to bring this thing to no one. We will we'll go with it, but what I'm trying to say is that change the country, it will not save us. It will, it will save us. If we are, we, there we is greedy, we are greedy. greedy. No, my brother, do you know why you are greedy? Do you know why we, do you know why we are greedy? Do you know why? Um, you, you sound like an educated man. You know you live in England, is that correct? Yes. Would you like to see the Taliban moving from Kandahar in Afghanistan close to where you are? No. Then, do you know that the northern part of the zoo we call Nigeria, that their behavior, their religion, their conduct, their sharia is the same thing as the Taliban? In Afghanistan, do you know that? Mm -hmm. Then why do you want us to be in the same country with them? If you don't want them to be in sorry, why would you want them to be in the same country with us? Do you see my problem, my dear brother? That is one thing that defines who forms a country with you. It is called value system. The same way you think is the same way I think when it comes to economic problems, to social problems, and to politics. You cannot have people in the same country. One is Sharia, they cut off your hand. The other side, you're claiming you're secular. It has never worked anywhere in the world. There has to be one overarching legal system, one overarching political system, one value system that governs the life of the people within that country. I am an educated man. I went to school. That's what I was taught in school, for goodness sake. No country on this earth can accommodate three divergent value systems. It has never worked anywhere on the planet. Never. Nowhere on this earth has it worked. If you don't want Taliban close to you, close to your house, taking your little child, raping her at the age of six, then why should I live with them in my country? I don't want them, and I cannot have them. We are pursuing Biafra. I like the doubts that people have against us. We are going to prove them wrong. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much, and God bless. We need to proceed by taking our transmitter at home, and also, and you know, and also glad people that back home. We are doing that already. If the coward is staying in their house, in their room, in their cupboard, not knowing what we are doing, how can we tell them?
How can they know what we are doing, for goodness sake? Is it everything we do, we come on the air and tell you? It is not everything. We are asking them, whoever is doubting us should wait and see. Before we came, when you write Biafra on Microsoft, what used to happen? It will be underlined in red. Now, does that happen anymore? The answer is no. Google the same thing. So what are people talking about? Do they know how far we have gone? Or should we come and tell them everything we are doing? How many weapons we've got? How many bullets we have? How, what our strategies are? How can we say that on the air? Why can't our people reason and stop talking like a bunch of disgruntled and hopeless market women? What is wrong with women men that they engage in gossiping? Talking nonsense when they are being killed. They are asking free for most useless, silly questions. What have they done? We bought a transmitter nearing oh, nearly a, a hundred thousand pounds. What have they done? Did they contribute any exercise? No. When was the last time you gave hundred thousand to somebody from Biafra to do something for you and they did it? Never. That is why we are formidable. That is why we are different. And heaven knows that is why we are Radio Biafra. That is why we are unstoppable. Unstoppable. Nobody can stop us. Give us your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. Anybody not doing what they are supposed to do will be removed from the spot. We need men and women who are dedicated. If you cannot do this fight, you get away. If you don't know how to fight for Biafra, you get out of the way so we can proceed. Why militancy may return? The funniest thing is that we are the only people not to be placed under arms officially. Everybody else is armed and they're being respected. Let the meeting is saying it. Militancy will return. Nothing happens to him. Everybody else is under arms apart from us. Those of you that said we shouldn't get arms, those of you that said we should be obedient to Nigeria, those of you that said we should fold our arms while cattle heads men coming to wreak havoc upon our lives, all of you, shame has covered your faces. They have struck your land as well. And next time it will be you. Because any day you understand the magnitude of what we are pursuing, you will also go down on your knees and thank Chukwa Biyama that you we have created a Biafra. Fulani headsmen have now killed 378 in Agatu in two years. In two years they have killed how many people? 378. Why we are these people killed? Because they are Nigerians. Nobody can kill you if you're from if you're from uh, uh, the Benin Republic or from Ghana. Do you hear these questions from Ghana? The answer is no. Do you read such news from the Republic, Cotton? The answer is no. Do you read such news from Togo? No. The reason why they are dead is because they are Nigerians. He almost understood. Nigeria means death. That's why the white man created it. So that the population of Africa will be down all the time. And they don't know that this country is not 160 million as they claim. There are big, huge metropolis. Like Potakot, Iwata, maybe Calabar, and um, or, um, um, the Heart of Darkness, Lagos. Not even Abuja, and maybe Kano. That's all. Which other place do you have? The, you have high concentration of people. But this is something people don't understand. The white man, they inflate their census. Everybody is a thief, even census commission. Or the people said that census commission, they, they inflate the figures to give our WhatsApp people more number as the British taught them to over other people, they sacked him for speaking the truth. The fact of the matter is that in Niger, the public in charge, the population is not high. So how come is inside Sokoto doing something with Niger, the public, that the population is high? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what we are saying? The population of Niger Republic is less than 18 million. The population of Chad is less than 10 million. So how come in Sokoto, in Medugri, in uh, Kano, all of a sudden, everybody is there and the population is higher than the more densely populated coastal regions? That tells you that lies have been with them, let to go. And all the coordinators must run their various Facebook pages do you know how many people we reach every week using Facebook to propagate Biafra? Do you know how many people we reach every week 
using Twitter to spread the message of Biafra? Do you know how many people visit Radio Biafra website? Our people must learn. They need to understand. Yoruba contributes nothing to the Zoological Republic of Nigeria, but they are reaping nearly 43% of the resources. Why? Because they have mastery of the media. Our people conditioned to do buying and selling cannot be disciplined enough to understand the importance of media. Some come and say, oh, you're on Facebook. And I feel sorry for them because they don't understand. They lack the ability to comprehend that Biafra needs to be sold to the world, that this very Biafra we are pursuing, that we need more friends than enemies, that people must buy into it. How do you spread your message? How? We had no media. That was why the name Biafra was obliterated from history books, because nobody spoke for you. Is it because you don't pay for Facebook? Is it because you don't pay for Twitter? Is it because you don't pay to access Radio Biafra? Is that why? Do not go outside to vote. A vote for one Nigeria is a vote for poverty, for pauperization, they call it. It is a vote for disenfranchisement. It is a vote for marginalization. It is a vote for your children walking through the desert and dying. It is a vote for your children drowning in the Mediterranean trying to get into Europe. It is a vote for servitude and for slavery. Do not, I repeat, do not go out to vote. If you don't vote, you have given us the impetus and the mandate to go and campaign for Biafra anyhow we want it. The enemy will try. A vote for one Nigeria means a vote for no pay from work. A vote for one Nigeria means run down education system. A vote for one Nigeria means that you will continue to live in squalor in Aba. If you want the nonsense happening in Aba to come to an end, if you want Aba to be removed away from the status of being a dustbin into a place, a vibrant commercial nerve center, do not vote. Leave the rest to us and we'll do it. This is Radio Biafra. Wherever you are, wherever you have listened to us from today, we are asking you to keep the fire burning, keep the flame burning. Go and tell those around you. Go and tell your friends and your family. All the coordinators, if you have not registered, the indigenous people of Biafra, where you are, try and do so. We don't want any excuses as to why you will not come out to rally, why you will not come out to remember those that fought and died for you. 30th of May, we have been saying it, 30th of May, any coordinator found one thing can no longer work with us. We must honor those that died for us. We must honor those that sacrificed their lives for us. That same day is a day of lamentation, is a day of atonement, is a day of thanksgiving. It is a day of offering to the spirits of all of them that sacrificed their lives that we may live. Let everybody be aware, if you are in a country where you need registration before you demonstrate, please ask for help now. We don't want any last minute excuses. 30th of May, go and preach it. Go to every village meeting, go to every social club, go to every association. Ask them to come out in the name of those that fought and died for them, that we may honor them worldwide in the whole world, not just in one place. It's important. 30th of May, put it in your diary. All coordinators, ensure, ensure that you get adequate registration. Start now to make preparations for the 30th of May, please. There will be no excuses, no last minute excuses. I find it astonishing that people should get disheartened because of the behavior of one person or a group of people. This was what I told them in Germany. When you try to get your wife pregnant for the first time, you don't succeed. Do you throw her away? When you go to church and you pray and say, please, God, help me so that my wife can conceive, do you abandon God? You abandon, you see, our, our people need to appreciate this. Biafra is a spirit. Biafra is what we are pursuing. People are going to use their vehicles to the accomplishment of the freedom for Biafrans. People are just a means to do that. If somebody falls by the, how many churches in this world, Roman Catholic? church for instance there are pedophiles there pedophiles some of the pedophile um reverend fathers in america they paid compensation in ireland they paid compensation in britain they paid... has he stopped you from going to catholic church has it no 
then I rest my case. The Pope is the representative of Christ on earth, as they tell us in St. Peter Square in the Vatican City. But the ministers underneath them are busy abusing little boys and little girls. The world hasn't ended. People still go to Catholic Church and they still pray to God. And for some of them, God listen to them. It's just stop you from going to church because of the behavior of few priests. If you refer to no. In Anglican, the same thing, we must understand and give this beer first some credit. The only thing we can say and we keep saying is this. We have, I have been in the beer first struggle for nearly 17 years. We have not given up. We have not sold out. We have never met people. We know people. We know a lot of people. When they brought this fraudulent scheme to us, we said no to them. You can't mix black fraud with fraud. We told them. That was what we quarreled with them. What else do they want us to do? Can you ask can you, man? What do they want? Because if they tell me what they want me to do, I will do it. All these people with their doubt. Is there anything you want us to do? And we will do it so to tell you how serious we are. Nobody should doubt. That is why we remain without fear in the presence of our enemies because we don't have skeletons in our cupboard. I would debate anybody anywhere. When people try to talk nonsense about what we are doing, I say, invite me to your house. I will debate you. When I finish debating with you, your wife will leave you. Do not retreat. We don't surrender. We have no fear before our enemies. We are without fear before these people. They are mad people. We have done nothing wrong to them. We have not stolen from anybody. We have not killed anybody. We have not pillaged. We have not looted. Why can't they leave us alone? I don't know who Frederick Lugard is. He is from a clan somewhere in Scotland. Why wouldn't they let us go? They must let us go. Cheese. 